Well, today we talked about the process of making a decision. The need to make a decision is often the thing that drives people to spiritual direction. It's the thing that first makes us aware of our need to listen to God. In the past, throughout the centuries, uh, men and women have tried to discern the voice of God as though it were something external to them, outside of them, as though there were some perfect medium, whether it was a fleece or a crystal or a prophet or by the casting of lots. They, they thought that God's will was external to them and they couldn't know what it was unless they used those mediums. But what happens in Pentecost is God takes this power that he gives to prophets and he disperses it across all Christian ranks. So ordinary men and women like you and me have an extraordinary ability to discern what the will of God is at any season in our lives. From the prophet Samuel today, we learn that the key to discerning this is by looking at the heart. Rather than looking at external indicators, profit loss statements, or the alignment of the stars in some way, we are taught to look inside of ourselves and to examine our heart. That process involves three questions. The first is where is this coming from? The second is what's coming with it? And the third, is where is this going? When we discern where something's coming from, we're asking whether it rises from the old self, the false self, or whether it comes from the new self, the one created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. When we discern what's coming with it, we're looking for either the spirit of peace, which comes from God, or does it have a sense of confusion which comes not from God? Is there a sense that God is working around us and ahead of us and aligning things so the right people and things are happening in just the right way? Or is there a sense that we are in this alone, that we're losing momentum, that people are getting bored, that the morale is going down? And when we ask, where is this going? we start to wonder whether or not these decisions are going to create a sense of purity, peace, gentleness, love, compassion, willingness to yield or humility. Does my decision have those kinds of characteristics or is my decision rising from selfish ambition, from the desire to control, to manipulate, to have it a certain way. So here's how you might use this in your group. The first is to take some time in your group today uh, identifying what the question is. What's the real question that you need to answer? It may take a while to get there, ask lots of questions, but after you've asked them, then list them all on the white paper or on the board, but after you've asked them, Begin to ask, where's the center? When you found the right question, uh, it's always simple. It's always in the middle of everything else, and it always um, eliminates three or four options immediately. Then list your options. Like Samuel, say, are these all your sons, or is there still another one back there? Is there an option back there that I haven't seen, that we haven't thought of, and list it? And then third, go into a prayer of indifference, like the one we prayed at the end of the service today, asking God to take full control of your faculties and praying out of you any selfish ambition. And then, one by one, put those options in front of you and discern, does it come from the right place? Is it coming with the right things? And does it create the right outcome? As you do this in your places of work or in your small group, maybe in your families, know that we in our offices in the church, I myself am using a process very similar to this. And you'll discover over time that knowing the will of God is not a separate activity that's reserved for a few it is a way of life that all people of God walk in 
every day.